In this chapter, we're going to create a web photo gallery. First, we'll need to gather all of our images and improve the composition of each of those images using the cropping tool, and then we'll apply any necessary color corrections to the images, and then finally save these images to be used on the web. Let's go ahead and begin. Before we can begin to create a web photo gallery, we first need to review our images and see if we need to make any corrections, perhaps to the image composition or to the color. So let's go ahead and look at some of our images in the Chapter 9 folder. Again, I'm in Adobe Bridge, and now I'm actually pointing to my Chapter 9 folder, which you can see in my cookie trail here at the top. And as we look at our different images, again, I've got my preview panel a little bit larger here on the right. We can see some of the images look a little darker than others. These two look very similar. However, I like the composition of the image on the right better than the one on the left but I like the coloring in the one on the left. So I'm probably gonna delete this first image because mainly of that red truck behind it, but the one on the right, we're gonna to have to go in there and fix the color. So you can see here, I went to a company a business up in Kerrville, Texas, and they sell flowers and they sell seeds and they sell all sorts of stuff for gardening. And what we're gonna do is we're going to create a web photo gallery to display some of these images. Now this is obviously something you could do if you have a business and you want to display a bunch of pictures quickly and easily to show off what you maybe you sell, or you can use it to just put up family pictures or vacation pictures or whatever. So it's very quick and easy to work with the Adobe Bridge. And of course, we're going to go back to Photoshop to fix some of these images. So let's go ahead and start with the third image here at the top. This one also to me looks a little dark. I'm going to simply double click on it. Remember, we had set up in our preferences in Bridge, all the extensions were set up to open up with different Adobe applications. And the JPEG was set to open in Photoshop. So by simply double clicking on it in Bridge, I am able to directly open it in Photoshop. Now, I already had Photoshop opened in the background, so it opened a lot more quickly than it may on your computer. You'll also notice at the bottom of our screen of our workspace, we have a tab called Mini Bridge. If I click on that to open up that panel, you'll see that you can actually set this up to see the files that we're working with. So we don't have to necessarily go back to the full-blown bridge to go back into our files and work on them. We can preview them in our mini bridge. And what I did here was I went to my favorites and my favorites that were already listed in my bridge application also show up in my mini bridge. So I was able to quickly get to my project files and into chapter 9. And here we see all the pictures that we also saw in Bridge. You'll also notice at the top of the Bridge panel we have a little icon for Bridge so we can actually go back into the full-blown Bridge by just clicking on that button. Okay, I'm going to collapse my mini Bridge to give me more room for my image and we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Histogram panel. So I'm going to click on Window and I'm going to select Histogram. What this panel does, and I'm going to actually open this up with the panel menu to do expanded view. What this panel does is it will show us the tones of our image and how well our picture was taken. We can obviously I think tell that it's kind of dark already. So I'm going to change my channel to RGB and I'm going to click this refresh button here on the right. This little warning icon is telling me that I need to refresh my histogram. When I refresh my histogram you will notice that on the left hand side of the histogram, the graph, I see a lot of white. There's kind of a mountain there of white. And then it slowly goes down as we go to the right. On the left hand side are the dark pixels that make up the image, the black. On the right side are the white pixels that make up the image. So going from left to right you can see that in my histogram my picture is darker than it should be because it has more white on the left than it has on the right. So what I'm going to do to try and even this out is I'm going to go to the bottom of my layers panel and I'm going to click on the little icon to create a new adjustment layer. Instead of going to my adjustments panel, I'm using the icon at the bottom of the layers panel. We've made these adjustment layers before. And I'm going to choose levels. And you'll see that the levels panel actually looks similar to a histogram. Although in this one we can actually modify it and improve our image. So if we look at the left hand side here of our graph, you'll see these little, these point sliders. We have a black point slider, 
a gray point slider and then or a mid-tone and a white point slider on the right hand side and if you'll notice that the black point slider on the left there's a little gap from the edge which is basically all black we have a little gap from where we have totally black colors to where our darker shades are beginning in our image if I drag that black point slider in to make an adjustment to bring it more to closer to the edge of that little white mountain we start to improve our image so let me go ahead and click my visibility icon so you can see how the tone in our image is actually improved just by dragging that slider that black point slider so leaving my visibility icon on you can see the picture becomes a little richer and it doesn't look so washed out or faint now if I adjust the white point slider from the right hand side and bring it towards the left you'll notice also at the same time my midpoint slider is making an adjustment because it's trying to stay in the middle between my white slider and my black slider so again let's turn our visibility icon off and on again and you can see how much improved a little bit of an adjustment in our levels panel has made to our overall tone of our image so let me go back to our histogram and let me refresh it and you can see here where the improvements have been made and on the left hand side we no longer have that gap and our image is leveled out some let me go ahead and collapse that I think this looks much better again let me hide the visibility icon and turn it back on and you can see our picture becomes a lot more rich and there seems to be a lot more depth of field in the composition of the image let's go ahead and save this we'll do file save and we're going to keep it without the layers we want to overwrite the old JPEG and I'm just going to click save and I'm going to keep it on high that's where the original file was I'm just overwriting it and then I can close this and we'll click don't save because we've already saved it I can open up my mini bridge and then I can jump back to my bridge so here we go we actually have our copy and here's our original and you can see here there is a big difference although subtle it is a big dramatic difference in our composition of our image because we were able to improve the tones with our adding a levels adjustment by analyzing our histogram